I'm Ozzy Osbourne and I'm the Prince of Darkness. When it comes to rock and roll debauchery, Ozzy Osbourne is something of an expert. Vocalist rose to fame in the 1970s as the fine-toothed frontman of the legendary heavy metal outfit Black Sabbath. During his time with the group, the self-proclaimed Prince of Darkness developed a reputation for lunacy. Good evening, Ozzy. What? Good evening, Ozzy. Hello there. How are you? Fine. Eventually, his anarchic persona and penchant for cocaine began interfering with his musical obligations, leading to his dismissal from Black Sabbath in April 1979. Considering Osborne and company spent an estimated $75,000 on cocaine during the production of Volume 4, it comes as a surprise that Osborne's musical upbringing was so quaint. Indeed, he once cited one of the Beatles' teeny bopper hits as the song that made him want to be a rock star. The Beatles were always far more than their music. Despite their notoriety, the Fab Four maintained a sense of relatability. They weren't strangely tanned or obnoxiously styled, they looked and sounded a lot like their fans, and their fans responded to that. John, why did you have to get married? Because for the same reason anybody gets married. Yeah. Don't be slushy like, but you do, don't you? When you want to get married, you, when you got to go, you got to go. Instead of symbolizing an unachievable dream, the Beatles implied that even the most ordinary people living in the most ordinary of places could make a better, more thrilling life for themselves. For youngsters growing up in a drab industrial centre, the sheer existence of a band like the Beatles was a reason for optimism. Opening up about the Beatles' impact in a 2016 interview, Osborne explained that it was the group's 1964 hit, She Loves You, that completely changed the game for him. Ozzy said of the song, I come from the back streets of Aston in Birmingham, and it wasn't a very cool place to live when I was growing up. I used to sit on my doorstep and think, how the hell am I going to get out of here? And then one day, She Loves You came on the radio. Unless you were actually there, it's hard to imagine just how explosive the Beatles' sound was in the early 1960s. The group's blend of radio-friendly rock and roll had been bubbling under the surface for a while. With traces of music hall, skiffle, and blues, tracks like She Loves You heralded the arrival of a new era. Ozzy continued, That song turned my head around. My son always says to me, What was it like when the Beatles happened? All I can really say to him is, Imagine going to bed in one world, and then waking up in another that's so different and exciting and it makes you feel glad to be alive. With their shimmering pop, Lennon, McCartney, Harrison and Starr severed the nation from the post-war years, replacing a monochrome world with one soaked in Technicolor. The sound was, in a sense, a reflection of the burgeoning sense that things could only get better, and for Osborne, it was the beginning of everything. <laughs>